Hi, I'm Dwayne Sieber with Real Milk Paint, founder and creator of the Real Milk Paint Company. Today, I want to talk to you about real milk paint removal, how to get it off. Because milk paint is a different combination of materials because it's a protein base as opposed to a resin base like modern paints, regular paint removers won't touch it. So you have to use a paint remover that's made to break down proteins. So we have a, uh, a powdered paint remover and it comes, comes in a powder, you mix it uh, one part water to two parts powder, which then it forms into like a paste, almost like pancake batter. Then you apply that to the surface and it'll gradually eat through and break down the milk paint. You can see we have an old Hoosier cabinet here and this has a, a blue milk paint that was on here and we've taken some off some of the drawers. This is a drawer that's in process and you can actually see the uh, milk paint is, is, is coming off of there. Um, but let me show you the paint, the, what the remover looks like. I have some that's already mixed up here. And you can see that it's, that it's very thick, like paste type batter mix. You know, this is about a half gallon mix in here. Um, coverage is about 85 to 125 a square foot uh, per half gallon, somewhere in that range. The other thing, there's no uh, toxic fumes or odors that come off of this. I mean, it does have a little bit of an earthy smell to it but it's basically a, a fairly safe remover from a VOC standpoint. Now, it's still considered a caustic, and that's what's able to break this down. So if you've ever uh, gotten your hands into something that's caustic, it makes your skin kind of feel kind of soft. Well, that's why we want to wear rubber gloves along with this. Um, I'm not going to be wearing glasses just because of the video, and it will distract from the video, but I'd probably wear some glasses too so that I wouldn't splash this up into my face. Um, Pretty simple process as far as the as far as the the, the application. Basically, you put it on there, paint it on like pancake pancake batter, just like that. Put it on as a thick paste, and what'll happen is is it'll start to um, kind of draw into the surface. And when it draws into the surface of, of the paint, that's when you want to add another layer. Um, also, because this paint remover is water based. In order for it to keep working, you need to keep it wet. So you can see in this in this uh, example here, it's it's starting to uh, cut through the paint, but we want to keep it wet at the same time. So I'll show you. You know, since this is almost eight, eight all the way through, we're going to take a steel wool pad, preferably two odd, which would be zero zero steel wool. This is actually a fine steel wool pad; it still will work, but I, I'd rather I couldn't find some here locally just recently. So. Once, you, once most of your paint is scraped off, you're just going to take, take, your, uh, take your steel wool pad and you'll be able to take the rest of that paint right off of there. You can see how it's coming right off the outside surface here. You know, just that easy. So the one thing you need to remember about paint stripper is paint stripper is your friend. Let it do the work for you. Don't, don't sit there and try to grind it off and push it off with a tool. Let the paint remover work for you. So. You can see that coming right off that surface. Then you want to take some paper towels and um, wipe that clean once you get it fully clean. And of course, paint stripping is always a messy business. So be ready, be ready, prepared to do your uh, paint stripping when you're ready to do it. So that's all for uh, milk paint removal and uh, powdered paint remover. You can come to realmilkpaint.com and get all your needs and necessities, rubber gloves, um, powdered paint remover for your next project. Thanks for stopping by.